Hello and welcome to Movie Mad Channel. It's James here and I am filming because the box has returned from Roy and you have to all say oh because I've got a cold so if I'm not speaking very well that's what it is. You've got to all have sympathy for me. <laughs> Isn't that right Arlene? No. How not? <coughs> I'm not feeling the greatest, but I am feeling good about the box that Roy has sent back to me. Now, I don't know if you've watched Blue Roy Movies channel recently, but if you haven't, we send a back box back and forward of stuff to each other, and it's been the same box, and I posted it way at the counter, didn't they show up at Roy's? We thought we'd lost our box, and it turns out that they said they didn't pay enough postage, which was a wee bit weird since they got weighed at the post office. And uh, they told me how much it costs. And I just looked at Roy's postage there, he paid £3.49, which is less than I paid, and it's the same box. So I don't know what's going on there. But the main thing is the box is back, it survived another journey. And it arrived when it was really raining and the box was a bit soggy. I was thinking, it's not going to make another journey, is it? But it's dried out. It's still quite solid. Here's the box here. And I, I have pre-sliced it. And I honestly, I remember one thing that's in there that, because I couldn't forget what Roy got me. But he said he has got another few things in here for me. There's six items in here. Oh, I could only squeeze five. And Roy's obviously in the box a wee bit of... Uh, give there to get that one in. Let's see what we have in the uh, box. First of all, let me see if I can get this one out. Ooh. I remember this now. Roy said he was going to send me Star Trek Discovery at season four because he found it in the charity shop and I wanted it because I do like Star Trek. Discovery is not my favourite one though, but it's... I'm a Star Trek fan, I like to have them. And I've got season one, two and four now, so I just need three. That's pretty good. I thought it was sealed there for a second, but almost. But yes, that's excellent. I forgot it was going to give me that. Perfect. So all the DVDs there. Really, they should go up on my Star Trek shelf, shouldn't they? I don't know if they'll fit up there. But... Uh, Thank you very much for that, Roy. Appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll try and infect the box on the way back. Uh, for the way back. There we go. Very nice. Then we have Agent Carter, the complete first series. I don't think I've seen this. Agent Carter is the one that's Captain America. Goes that way, isn't it? It is, yes. Hold on to your hats. One of the fearless women redefines heroism. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the one. So the complete first season of Captain Carter. That will go well with my Marvel collection. I don't think I've seen this. I haven't. So that's good. What else do we have? Ooh, it's the complete second season. So now I've got seasons one and two. Bigger, bolder and brighter than the white hat lights of the 40s. Hollywood, Marvel's Agent Carter blazes back with a great second great season. That's good. So I've got three series. Three series. Here. That's great. And what else do we have in the box? The box of mystery. Oh yes, I remember. Roy says this is a great movie, Arlene. Arlene. And he says this is a great movie. And now I can watch it because I can't un un unwrap my sealed copy. And that is The Voices. Uh, apparently, Ryan Reynolds is hearing voices and there's an evil person, there's a good person. One of the evil ones is a dog. Apparently, and I've not seen it, but now I can watch it because I've got an unsealed copy. 
That's excellent. Thank you very much for picking that up from me, Roy. And, and it, I say, he says it's a really good film as well, so that's good. Oh, we've got two more items. Oh, a Kevin Costner movie that I do not have. Let Him Go, Kevin Costner and Diane and Lane. I'm a Kevin Costner fan, as you know. Following the loss of their son, retired Sheriff Kevin Costner's wife, Margaret, leave their Montana ranch to rescue their grandson from a dangerous family living off-grid. They soon discover that the wee boy family have no intention of letting the child go. Ooh. Must be a relatively new one. That's another one I'm going to look forward to. And it's got a nice slip cover as well. I feel like I'm holding it on this box because the address is on the other side. Of the, and my address is on the other side. I don't want to show it on the, on the camera. Not that people would do anything, but there can be some unscrupulous people out there, can't there? Yep. And a good disc as well. He didn't tell me he was going to send me these ones, so that's very nice of him. I say, I don't, I don't tell him everything we're going to send, I'm going to send either. But to be fair, Roy sent me a lot more than I have him. In the la in the last few ones, because uh, I don't I haven't got as much boxes for him lately, and this is the one I knew he was sending me, and it was a really really great pickup. He told me about it, and and Larry sent me the first two in the series just recently, and Roy coincidentally happened to see this in the in in the CX, and he thought of me, which was really nice of him. And he picked it up, and it's Rambo 3, 4K Steelbook. Everybody says Rambo 3 isn't isn't the greatest one, but I like it. It's when he goes to Afghanistan. <laughs> to be fair, it's, about, it's a bit unpolitically correct now, isn't it? Because they're helping the Taliban fight the Russians. So now it's a little bit, well, well, sort of. But it's still a good movie, I like it. Oh, and a nice Steelbook too there. Ramble 3 4K in the box and the Blu-ray. That is excellent. And it's got a nice nice artwork inside as well. Let's have a look at the full steel book. A couple of sticker bits, but we'll get them off. From CX. Yeah, and there's a good helicopter on the front. So I'm not sure I'm looking myself. There we go. I like nice artwork in the middle. So that was really, really appreciated, Roy. I, I, I didn't expect that. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's going to look good, isn't it, on the shelf? And it means I've got all three, three plus Glass Blood, which I've not watched yet, and the fourth Rambo. But I've not got that on 4K. I don't know if it even is on 4K yet, but that's one, two, three, and the Last Blood I've got on 4K. So that's excellent and that completes the collection so thank you very much if you haven't uh, checked out blue roy movies ch channel go over and have it go and have a look he's grown at some rate he's at uh, 319 subscribers now he's coming for me i keep saying that he's uh, gonna he's gonna surpass me be a youtube star and he'll be uh, he'll be he'll be Pointing out my channel to his millions of subscribers very soon. So take take a look and check it out. Hope I've hope I've seen that alright because my nose is my nose is completely blocked. <laughs> so that's what I got in the box. But I actually ordered a couple of things for myself. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. And I bit the bullet on this one and ordered it. I think this is what it is anyway. I'm not actually sure because I'm not opened it yet. Better open it and actually see it is what if it is what I'm expecting. Is it? I don't know. Let me see. It is. It's the Spanish release of Roadhouse. Uh, this was on the Rare Film Shop on eBay, and there's, there's a German version of Roadhouse that is a Spanish one, and it was selling quite fast because obviously the new Roadhouse movie has just came out, and I thought, why not? £15, that was a lot of money for me for one Blu-ray. 
but I've got it here. It says region A, B, and C. And I've seen that little tip on Kermit's channel where you can tell if it's an actual disc because it's got press numbers inside rather than a bootleg. So I will open this up and have a look. In fact, let's just do it now. I don't normally open these till I'm going to watch them, but I do want, I'm interested to see if, probably I'm going to watch this soon. I've watched it recently, but I'll probably watch it again on the Blu-ray. So let's open it and just see if that has got the information on the press disc. Yeah, I know there's a 4K disc coming out now, and I've seen that after I ordered it, but you know what? I've got it now. And I'm going to break this because I can't get open. <laughs> I'm not going to use my teeth. Come on, dude. Come on, don't break it. How have I made such a mess of this? I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Right. Here we go. So let's open it up inside and see. Roadhouse. There's some little letters on the disc, but it's too dark for me to see. No, there are some press numbers in that. Need a bit more light. Let's see if I can see over here. Yes, this does look. It's a fully pressed disc. You can see it. So very happy with that. I actually, uh, Larry also sent me a gift as well the other day and I said this was been on my radar for a while and I always mean to pull the trigger on it and I've never done it yet and it's a classic comedy of Overboard. So I picked that, uh, well I didn't pick it up, Larry picked it up for me and I always remember watching this as a kid, I'm thinking that's quite a good that's quite a good story, and I didn't know they were married in this. Kurt well, Russell and Gold on. Are they not married? No. They're not. No, they're living together. Are you sure? Yes. Well, I didn't know they were together when they made this movie, but I think it's a really good movie, and I think it's got some some comedy charm in it. And I, all, I say I always meant to pick it up, and it's always been on my radar. And uh, Larry sent it to me, which was really nice of him. Uh, so that I've got plenty to plenty to watch, plenty to watch, as I always do. Uh, when I'm off for a little bit of a holiday. And the last thing I uh, don't say picked up, ordered, ordered from Zavi. This was a tip from Jim Jam Movies. Again, he sent this over to me. He says, check this out. And I thought, you know what? It's a good deal. Why not get it? So I'll show you. Let's tear it open. Cardboard sleeve packaging from Zavi. But... We're looking good shape. Steel, a couple of steel books, four K steel books, and I'll, I'll explain why I've got two in a second. The truth is, I don't have much interest in this film. I think I will watch it, but I'm going to trade these in. These were on Zavi for five ninety nine, and I've got red carpet, so they were delivered for five ninety nine. But they trade for 12 in CEX, and that is uh, a limited edition steelbook of Jurassic World Dominion. So I, th I thought, you know, for £12, I can get myself £24 of vouchers, or I can keep one and trade one and still. So that was £12, and still get £12 of vouchers and still and keep a steelbook. So I thought, why not? But I think I'm trying, I'm trying to only keep things in my collection that I really, really 
want and I'm going to watch over again. I know that isn't always the case, but I am trying to just do a little bit more. I'm not saying I'm going to be perfect at it, but a little bit more added to my collection so it's my collection rather than and these ones I've got I've got other 4k Jurassic Park up there would that fit in nicely probably would so I'll decide I'll decide later but that's what I picked up so thank you very much for watching I'm going to nurse my cold with a movie and a cup of tea I think and I was going to film a short of a movie I watched uh but I think I'll do that when I'm feeling a bit, feeling a bit better. I did want to actually talk a little bit about the new Roadhouse film. Let's go back to that. Yeah. So I wanted to talk a bit about this movie and the new movie. The new movie could be any generic movie and just put Roadhouse in the name in front of it. That's what that's what I feel. Jake Gyllenhaal is probably so it's probably the best thing about the new Roadhouse movie. It's on Amazon Prime if you want to watch it. But the original, if you have not seen any of these movies, I would stop watching now. Watch some first, and then come back to this section and have a, and a, and, a, and think about my thoughts. So in the new Roadhouse. Or the old road house. Dalton is a bouncer. That's he's been his job his entire his entire life. That's what he does. He comes in and cleans up places, and he's be he's been mentored by another legendary bouncer who joins him at the end to help 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 out. Now, Jake Gyllenhaal is a UFC fighter who seems to be just interested in pain. And he killed someone in the ring, but he killed someone in the ring by beating them to death. And he's just completely lost control in that. And it just seems like he is not the same character. I don't have the same affinity for his character as I did for Patrick Swayze's in the film. There's a reason Patrick Swayze does what he does. Uh, and 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 he kills someone as well. But he's he was self defending this. He was, was self defense guy had a gun, and he went too far and he killed the guy and was ruled as self defense. Ruled as self defense. Whereas beating something to death, pounding on the pick, pounding on the the guy in the ring, and then he starts off nice. You know, Quinn uh, Dalton. He has a few people come in. It's five and one in a fight, and he says, "Have you got insurance?" Because you got well, why? And then he drives them to the hospital, and he starts off nice, but then at the end, he just starts getting nasty for no reason. There's also a main villain, and then is it Conor McGregor comes in, and takes over the role of that villain, and it just, it just doesn't work for me. I prefer the original. What are your thoughts on it? So, that being said, I was going to end this video a minute or two ago, and I didn't, so I'm going to end it now. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh.